In the remote village of Mozi, a horrific crime took place that sent shockwaves through the community. On the day in question, Selina Chitono, a 43-year-old woman from Maruza village, saw some goats grazing in her neighbor, Juliet Chapuruka's field. She then chased the goats away before she went to tell her about what she had seen. When she approached the homestead, she only found Jeffert, her son, alone at the house. When she queried him about the whereabouts of his mother, he said that he had no idea where she was. She accepted this and went back to her house. She came back a day later and Juliet was still not back and she became worried and recruited another neighbor, persuade Vundura, a 19-year-old, and they went to search for her. They assumed that she could have been hurt, sick or collapsed and needed assistance in the forest or in the field. Unfortunately, before they went any further, they found a fresh mound of soil that looked like a grave, 55 meters away from the house. They then called the other villagers and discovered that it was a shallow grave that had human body parts. They were shocked by what they saw and they alerted the police at Susue police base in Nuzi and CID Panda proceeded to the scene and they dug up the chopped body parts of Juliet Chapupuruka. The body was in an advanced state of decomposition and some burns were found on the body parts. They also saw a fireplace that they believed that was used to burn the body before it was buried. The police suspected Jeffard, her son, because he had a long history of mental illness and was the only one that was at the home at the time. Jeffat Nyakupira was a 28-year-old man and had suffered with mental challenges since 2013. He lived alone with his 65-year-old mother, Juliet, and when the police questioned him, he admitted to the crime. He said that he had attacked his mother, killed her, and then dismembered her body and attempted to burn the corpse. He said when the burning failed, he then chopped up his mother's body parts and buried them in a shallow grave in their maize field just a few meters away from their home. Inspector Simon Chichazovachi, the Mashonaland East Provincial Spokesperson, confirmed the incident. He was arrested and charged with the murder of his mother. This gruesome act committed by a son against his mother left the community in shock and in disbelief. He was probably not tried because of his mental state and it is highly likely that he was admitted at a mental institution for rehabilitation. This tragic incident serves as a stark reminder of the need for mental health awareness, support and medication, particularly in remote and rural communities. May her soul continue to rest in peace.